in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, just for the freak. Yeah, just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, just for the freak. Yeah, just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk, bought it just for the freak. Yeah, he in my trunk. I fought many warriors of different exotic style. The heart of fighting was the discipline, and to us the way. Amongst all his great spirit was a young Wushu master from Afghanistan. His flexibility and speed made him a formidable opponent. One night of June, we fought for eternity. This fight was different than all my previous ones. No money. No fame, no glory. Just two men pushing the boundaries of speed and interception under the full moonlight. Many children dream of running away to join the circus, but one Melbourne student is about to turn his hopes into reality. Hussein Siddiqui is a refugee from Afghanistan who escaped the Taliban and ran the gauntlet of people smugglers to start a new life in Australia. This is the National Institute of Circus Arts in Melbourne, and scholarship holder Hussein Siddiqui wants to be a movie star. His friends think he could be the new Jackie Chan. They said you could be good in a movie, you know, like, you know, but I never had a chance, you know, to find, um, to be in this industry. Hussein Siddiqui's own life is worthy of a Hollywood script. He's a refugee from Afghanistan, forced to pay people smugglers to flee the persecution of the Taliban. They had no mercy for women, you know, children and women. My two older sisters that in Afghanistan was gone. And my father and my sister and uh, three brothers that in Iran. A black belt in Shaolin Kung Fu and Taekwondo, 
he was also forced to abandon his dream of competing at the Sydney Olympics. It was really, really, really hard. And like, I was supposed to be the guy who carried the flag from, for, for this Olympic team. Now Hussain Sadiqi is focused on passing his unique exams and is building on his martial arts expertise, specialising in the Chinese flying forks. He brings a completely different style here and he obviously going to use that style in his um, performance routine. And he's learning all aspects of performance. I'm, I'm doing ballet, I'm doing tango dance and, and now I'm singing as well. And that means a traditional Hazara love song. Hussain Siddiqui has another year of balancing his study commitments before completing his degree. Then, if Hollywood doesn't come calling, he'll bend over backwards to join the circus. Guy Stainer, ABC News, Melbourne.